here with Hinch after a 4 2 defeat against Merston. Hinch, how did you see that one? Um, you, you start a game like that, uh, you're always going to leave yourself with a hard task. Um, you know, you take out the first 15 minutes and probably the right scoreline, you win 2 1. Um, but going 3 0 down in that amount of time, uh, everything they hit, as soon as they left this foot, is in and you know, Lucas trying to play out and then he seemed to stop for a few runs back, he maybe gets it, the first one. Um, but yeah, I was just bitterly disappointed, not just on today, but the last five games. I think it was in our in our hands with five games to go and um, yeah, it's going to hurt over the summer that one. Um, definitely got to look at, look at myself because we got ourselves in a good position with five games to go. So maybe my sort of lack of experience is, is told there, but you know, definitely we'll learn and, and get better and um, we need to come back uh, ready to compete again next season. Going 3 nil down, I think it was seven minutes. What does that do to the game plan? How do you adapt as a coach? You'd, I think as soon as it goes 1-0, you're looking at around on the pitch and you're looking for your leaders and um, it just went dead quiet and I thought too many of us went hiding. Um, Everybody can look to go and play when you're three 0 down because you've got nothing to lose, and um, I just think that's what's happened in the last five games. We haven't had enough leaders, characters, um, and too many of us have gone hiding in, in this crucial time, uh, in my opinion. So um, yeah, maybe I've got to look at it. Maybe we should have gone with more experience today, but um, the similar set of players are the players that went ten unbeaten before we went on this this run in the last five games, but. That's what's killed us, taking two points from five games at the crucial part of the season when it really matters is, is what's, what's um, left us in ninth, ninth place. Big talking point in the game, Ricky got sent off. Uh, I couldn't see it too well. What, what did you see? Yeah, well, I've never seen uh, indirect free kick in a box for a higher foot uh, before, but that got given one end. Um, and that's a, you know, always thought it would be a penalty. Dangerous play like that, uh, penalty, and you know, not guaranteed that we score it. Um, but if you do score it, you go to three-two, and you've got a bit of momentum, and still got you know, thirty-five minutes and a half to go. It's a massive, massive moment. Um, they go up the other end and get a penalty um, on the break. But that, that would sum it up for me. Um, the naivety we show to it's possibly just on the counter attack they've gone and got in behind, and, and Ricky's. Bumps into the lads and red card and a penalty again. I thought it was a booking and a penalty. You can't double jeopardy. I thought that was a new rule this year, but you know maybe I, I don't know the rules, but um, you know I'm a bit um, you know, taken back by some of the decisions that the referees made today. It would have been really nice to have made that playoff spot. Um, we finished ninth. Are you content with that? Would you have taken that at the beginning of the year? Are you disappointed considering the position we were in five games? Uh, yeah, that's the thing. You've got to look back. I think the start of the season, it would be a good season progression. Um, on last season, we've been to get into the top ten after just staying up um, late on the last two seasons. Um, would be progression, but, you know, like I say, the last five games, it was in our hands and that's the most disappointing thing for me and something that I'll, I'll learn and learn from and you know hopefully this young group of players learns and they've got to learn quickly because a lot of them now have played 60, 70 games at this level now so um, you can talk about how young they are but ultimately they've got to start learning very quickly. You do a lot at the club, not just the first team, the education programme, the academy as well. What's next for you? Is it is it purely recruitment now or do you have other bits to do? Um, can we expect to see a lot of um, movement within the squad over the summer? Yeah, we've got under-16s cup final tomorrow, so we'll go to that. And then we've got last education programme on the 19s game on Monday. So we we'll see the season off with them. Um, yeah, and then it's you know busiest time of the season for a manager really. Um, everyone thinks you just go and put your feet up, but you know we need to we need to look at look at our squad and you know we sat down um, Cam, Mick, and Aaron and myself and looked at areas that we need to improve and that's what we're we'll looking to do over the summer. Um, you know we're not um, blessed with uh, finances. We're still very much you know within ourselves. We're by no means the the big hitters in the league, although we got the you know, highest attendances, um, 
you know, it doesn't reflect on the actual budget that we've got. Um, so we've got to see what's out there within our means and within our um, our realm, really. But you know, that probably that lack of experience um, to see us over the line, especially for the last five games, has been crucial. The young squad you've built is probably the envy of a lot of teams in this league, and I think it's just getting that balance right. Do you have, without giving too much away, do you have an idea of who you're looking to recruit and what areas you're looking to recruit in? Yeah, we definitely um, know the areas that we're going to be potentially losing players and we need to recruit in. So, yes, yeah, like I say, it's a busy time. Um, you know, yeah. We'd like to go and get ready made players um, to come down here, but you know, this. That comes at a bit of a price, and unfortunately, we haven't got that price to, to go and get these ready made players for the level down. So, we've got to work and develop players, and um, that's what we do at the club. And I just think today we've seen a team full of experience um, come and play against a team that was, you know, lacking full of 20 year olds and, and stuff like that. And um, that's what you can get. You need to you need to get that balance right. Um, you know, like I say, maybe you've got to look at it and it's a game for Buddy and Parsons you know, in the wind and, and stuff like that. But you know, I've got full full faith in these these lads. I think they they good enough. And um, yeah, but a big big learning uh, curve for, for all of us really. It's been a season of up and downs. Um, but anyone that's followed the team throughout the year will know that it's exciting times here at Woodside. We've got a young team. Um, for everyone that has come out and support the 900 that were here today, what message do you have for them for next season? What can they look forward to or expect? Yeah, I mean, we have got to be careful um, because we have finished ninth and I want to build on that and progress on that. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's got to be done the right way. Um, you know, we could, could go out and spend money that we haven't got and put themselves a club into debt and stuff and that again but you know, you've got you got to be careful what you wish for because there's a lot of clubs like you just look at Bolton they try to spend above there and now they're potentially going out of business players are not getting paid and stuff like that so we've got to be careful we want, we want to progress obviously um, but at the same time like speaking about finances for next year be very similar to to this season um, which means you know it, it's it's going to be tough it's going to be tough to recruit um, the right caliber of player so um, you know there will be opportunity for younger players again um, but you will see some performances like today unfortunately um, where that lack of experience um, you know has cost us we've gone behind in um, what's that? Probably all of the last five games have gone behind, um, which is which is crucial. Then you need your characters out on the pitch to, to get you through that. So we want to be progressive, um, but you know it's got to be within the realms of, of the what the club can afford as well. You know we don't last thing we want is to kind of spend money where we haven't got um, uh, on a winner to try and get to to, to the next level. Uh, we want to do that when we're ready. We we set up a 14, 15, 16 um, and an under 19. So we're putting the foundations in place, in my opinion. Um, so you know it might take a bit of time for that to all develop and, and transpire. The last thing we want is to um, you know see this club in in sort of financial troubles. Again. You've been on record the whole season uh, supporting the away boys and the fans one last message for them throughout the season how, how they help the team oh definitely I mean the amount of times countless times this season I would say probably six times we've let them down this season where we haven't turned up um, other than that we've tried to be as competitive and I think they've been a big part in that um, especially at games here at home um, where we have uh, even gone away we've took over ground uh, money fields away it was like a home game really and it's exceptional support, it really is exceptional support and it's a, it's a massive factor when I go and speak to players I know about uh, what happens crowd and they want to be part of that and play in, in front of those sort of crowds so yeah like from myself, the players and all the sort of staff here we can't thank them enough for you know the finances that it takes to follow the club, the time they give to come and support us you know it really is appreciated and um, you know, it is a it is a special club like that. The, the fan base here is, is second to none, and um, yeah, we want to do all we can, and we'll work tirelessly over summer to give them a, a team to go and shout about next season. Thanks for everything here. Cheers.